Hi, welcome to my channel, Everyday Space. In today's video, we're going to talk about two of the four main types of rocket engines. We're going to be talking about the open cycle gas generator engine and the closed cycle oxidizer rich engine. These are the two main types of rocket engines currently used today. So let's get started. So here we have an open cycle gas generator engine. This is the most common engine and is frequently used in rockets. This is also the least efficient engine, but is also the least costly. So every engine needs to have a fuel and an oxidizer. The fuel and the oxidizer are specifically designed to react each other in the pre-burner and the combustion engine. So the fuel and the oxidizer go through two different tunnels to the turbine shaft, which is also called the power pack. The turbines will then power and spin up the propellant. The propellant will then exit the turbine shaft assembly, and then when it goes, it will eventually reach two different tunnels. One tunnel leads it directly into the combustion chamber, and one leads it into another mini rocket engine called a pre-burner. A pre-burner is used to f combine the fuel and the oxidizer and make them react to provide the rust to spin the shaft for the turbines. This is how the turbines will spin and speed up the propellant. After the fuel has been burned in the pre-burner, it will then exit from the tunnel, from a different tunnel, and then will be exited out of the rocket engine. This is the reason why the open cycle is not very efficient because all the fuel that is going to the pre-burner is now going to waste. But it is also the least costly and the least complex. This is why most rocket builders use them. But what if we just connect this tunnel into the combustion chamber? So now we have all the fuel going in the combustion chamber, right? Well, the fuel after being burned in the pre-burner turns out to be very sooty and can clog injectors. This is why the Russians had to use a completely different rocket engine to solve this problem. But let's just leave it like this because this is an open cycle engine. So then the rest of the fuel will go into the combustion chamber and then react. The reaction will create a charge of particles going out of the combustion chamber. It will then go through the nozzle which is specifically designed to speed up the particles exiting from the combustion chamber. This is how the rocket will achieve thrust. So now let's look at the rocket the Russians designed to make the fuel very efficient by connecting this into the combustion chamber. But it's a bit different and it does not follow the exact same principles because like I said before, this can be very sturdy and can clog all the injectors. So let's see what they did. So here we have another rocket engine called the closed cycle oxidizer rich engine. Like I said before, all engines have an oxidizer and a fuel. The oxidizer and the fuel will then go into the turbo shaft assembly just like the open cycle. But from there, they will go into their separate tunnel, tunnel, tunnels. But the big difference is all the oxidizer goes into the pre-burner and, and some of the fuel goes into the pre-burner. This is because, like I said before, they do not want soot going into the combustion chamber. That's why if they run an oxidizer rich or more oxidizer than the fuel, it will not become all that sooty and not that hard to clog all the injectors. So the pre-burner will then fire up again spinning the shaft just like the open cycle but then it will go into a separate tunnel and then go back in the combustion chamber this is how all the oxidizer will go through the pre-burner and into the combustion chamber while well, most of the fuel is already there without going into the pre-burner then a reaction will happen just like before and then the nozzle is specifically designed to increase the speed of the particles coming out of the combustion chamber this is much more efficient than the open cycle because no fuel is going to be wasted and everything is going to provide thrust. It is also fairly more complex because the oxidizer, when there's more oxidizer, temperatures become crazy hot and they need a super metal alloy that it can 
that can stand these crazy temperatures to make an oxidizer rich cycle. This is why this rocket engine is more complex and more costly than the other one, but is also more efficient and is widely used throughout the rocket industry. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and like. In my next video, I'm going to be discussing the remaining two of the rocket engine types. They will be the closed cycle fuel rich engine and the full flow stage combustion cycle engine. These are the two engines that we're going to cover in the next video. So thanks for watching.